Hello, I'm Sharon with Flat World Knowledge, and I'd like to welcome you today to our brief podcast recording with Russell Cooper, co-author with Andrew John on their new Principles of Economics textbook from Flat World Knowledge titled Economics, Theory Through Applications. Hi, Russell. Hey, Sharon. Glad to be here today. Well, I am happy that you are here, and I'm happy that our audience is listening as well, and let's not kind of keep them waiting much longer and jump in with our first question, which is, what made you decide to to author a Principles of Economics textbook? Well, I taught uh, principles of both micro and macro for many, many years, both at Boston University and, and the University of Texas. And I think that my interest in writing a book like this grew largely out of frustration with the way that the ways that existing books presented economics to to students. Um, I always found that that teaching very challenging, in fact, more challenging than teaching PhD students. And it, it wasn't about the material itself. It was about trying to take this wonderful discipline that we call economics and getting students to engage in it and to fall in love with it the way that I did. That's you know that's interesting because it's it's always a challenging thing right for instructors who who have such a passion for their discipline to get um, the majority of their students interested in such a topic that's that's all around them every day like economics is. Um, but that's but that's exactly right to me, which is to somehow convey to the students the fact that no matter what they were doing, they were always doing something that it, that was related to economics. They were always making economic decisions that economics was around them in so many ways, and they had to be able to see it and to feel it and to deal with it. And you know what, it, I know that's a little bit leading right into the next point, which I'd love for you to tell our audience a little bit about kind of what differentiates this book from the other plethora of principles of economics textbooks on the market today. Well, to, to be honest with you, I wouldn't have written this book with Andrew unless we thought we had a product that was very, very different from existing ones. In my mind, and this is why it was difficult and challenging to teach this stuff to students, many, many existing books are just watered-down versions of the type of theory we try to teach PhD students. And that stuff is great for PhD students. It's not great for a freshman who may never take another economics course again. Many books have the basic theory and then supplement it in various multicolored boxes with cases and applications. And our book completely reverses the order and the importance we start with cases with applications in each of our chapters and use those applications to teach the underlying theory. So from the student's perspective, they're presented with engaging, interesting questions and topics to look at and may not even realize that along the way they're being fed some economic theory. From an instructor's perspective, they can look at our book and say, wow, all of the main theories I want to teach my students are included here and sometimes included multiple times but presented in a way that the students may actually be able to find more palatable and they can interact with and relate to much more easily. So that's what's different about our book. I have to say, not only have you talked the talk, so to speak, but you've walked the walk. And I'll, um, (laughs) by, by, by really, you know, doing these two tables of contents, and I'll urge our listeners to take a look at them. There's a table of contents that obviously would, would suit the needs and and of, of your of your instructors. They can kind of understand the flow of the chapters as um, someone who knows and loves economics might, but there's the the also the student table of contents, which serves such a great purpose to entice students and not kind of scare them away from the content um, and allows them to kind of dig into it without feeling like they're going to be learning a bunch of models and formulas and whatnot that really they're going to be exploring things that they know and how the economics kind of um, can teach them things about about the world around them. So that it really is, um, like you say, a, a, book, a book for students and to help them understand economics as it, as it is around them in the world today. Um, That's our point. Yeah. I'll tell you, we, we know and we're so thankful that, that you that you signed with Flat World Knowledge. We couldn't be more excited about having your book here. Um, but I know that you could have signed with, with many of the other uh, bigger publishers out there. Can you tell our listeners what made you decide to, to sign with us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the way that Andrew and I envisioned the book with this combination of core theory and applications, you can imagine a wheel where the outside part of the wheel are the applications and the inner part is itself the core theory. 
But a wheel is not a, a, a it's not a linear thing that you read from one cover to the next. It's a very nonlinear, interactive kind of world. And flat world knowledge provides us with the ability to publish our nonlinear version of, of, of economics. And what I mean by that is that as you work through each of our chapters, you can go through various links to the toolkit, which is the core theory part of our book. You can also go via the web to a whole bunch of different sites which supplement and enrich the material that we present. And that's part of the beauty of the Flat World Knowledge platform. The other thing is that to me, a book should be alive. And once a book is put between two covers, it, it's not easily updated. But on a web page, as events happen in the real world, we can supplement our chapters, enrich our cases, and bring real events to our students, combining it with the tools that are already available through the toolkit. So again, it's the, if you like, the nonlinearity of our ability to present our materials through flat world knowledge that makes your platform just awesome for our book. Ah, that's great. Yes, and we are excited about that. So, and we're we're hoping that all of our listeners here will also be very excited about it. So, um, we'll thank you, obviously, Russell, for um, your dedication to your discipline, and obviously for bringing out a, a a fantastic new entry into the principles of economics market. And we'll thank all of our listeners for spending a couple minutes with us today, learning a little bit more about it. And uh, we'll hope that that you all will request a desk copy to see for yourself. Um, how exciting this new economics theory through applications by Russell Cooper and Andrew John is. So thank you very much, Russell, and have a great day. Thanks, Sharon. See you later.